They can Pittsburgh do the unthinkable and win three Stanley Cups in a row? Can they win their third Stanley Cup in a row? Well, this hasn't been done since the 80s. Uh, and winning two in a row hasn't been done since the 90s. So they, they like defying logic and the salary cap era. They like to defying trends. But here's the thing. This season they haven't looked as invincible as in past years. They've looked very human at times and very average. Um, their leadership group of Crosby, Malkin and Latang, um, you've got to work out how much extra mileage they've had to put in as, as players in, in playoff games, how many extra games that equates to for them, which is equivalent, I think, to two to three extra seasons worth of hockey they've had to play. That is a lot of playing um, uh, of games. That does take wear and tear in the body. That has to be taken into account. Um, and I'm not going to focus on the Western Conference because um, they've got to get out of the Eastern Conference yet. And there's two teams in particular who are charging at the moment. And that's Columbus, who are currently, as I record this video, and of course when you watch this video, it may be a few weeks down the line, are on a nine-game win streak. And Florida are currently one point off the wildcard positions in the East. They are two teams that are charging at the moment. And also two teams that have not had to play a lot of playoff hockey. Therefore... Their core units, their core players, have had less miles on the clock. So they're not as physically worn out, and that could be crucial. I think Pittsburgh have reached a point now where this, this group of players they've got, and Crosby and Malkin and Latang have lifted three Stanley Cups. Since Crosby or Malkin was drafted, I'm trying to remember, was it, was it 2009? That's, that's three Stanley Cups in 10 years. That's two in a row. That, that, that this team is a good team, and they they you know given it a lot of effort. There's a lot of seven game series in there. There's a lot of they they've had to win the Stanley Cup three times. That's a minimum of sixteen games three times plus the seven game series. And that is a lot of hockey. That is a lot of games. That is a lot of minutes because unlimited overtime. You you go until winner takes all. There's no penalty shootouts in playoff hockey. That has got to have physically taken it out. No doubt. So, there is that. They are not guaranteed to be a seeded team, even at this point. Now, this could all change from the time I record this to the end of the season. There are still 10 games left. But you've got to look around them in that Eastern Conference. Philly are still floating around as well. They are a wild card team at the moment. They are still there. There are a few pitfalls. However, the Western Conference for me is more difficult to get out to the Stanley Cup final of the Western Conference. But that is harder. Um, that's my personal opinion. Um, but even so, there are some teams that want to have vengeance on, on Pittsburgh, including Washington, who have actually had a better regular season record. Um, you, you have to look at when Pittsburgh have had issues, it's been in defence, it's been in goal, they're not looking as solid at the back. They're missing Marc-Andre Fleury in goal. Matt Murray's numbers haven't been great this season. And Chris Letang, um has had a lot of injuries. He's not looking at his best this season. Um, and that defence has been leaking. But I'm going to leave that there. Uh, I didn't say they couldn't win it. But I think it's going to be harder for them to achieve a three in a row that hasn't been done since the 80s. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, place your comments below, and I'll have some more videos for you soon.